This is Stephanie C. O'Connor, Executive News Editor at Hotel Business. One of the things I think anyone who's looking at this video will realize is that you've changed the name of Lowe's. How did that come about and what's the vision behind that? Lowe's Hotels & Co is a nod to the kinds of properties, the diversity of hotels that we have in the portfolio, some 24 strong, three under construction currently, and includes an understanding of our big box hotels where we have a couple of them that are a thousand rooms or more with lots of meeting space, but also our attention to expanding into what we call immersive destinations like Universal where we have a joint venture with Comcast and NBC Universal with our sixth hotel currently under construction or a recent announcement where we're going to be building Texas Live in Arlington, Texas mm -hmm. and the property will be live by Lowe's 352 rooms and 35,000 square feet of meeting space. Mm -hmm. Oliver, how does this affect your role with the company and how you're going to promote Lowe's? I think an important point, and, and I think uh, John is being his usual humble self, is that uh, the ENCO is not to be underestimated in terms of its, its importance. It really speaks to the fact that this is about um, partnerships and team members. Um, and the way the leadership of Lowe's reflects on our team members is critically important. They are the people that are on the front line every day um, serving our guests and doing a wonderful job at it. And we really want them to feel as part of the company. Therefore, the end co is very much also an acknowledgement as uh, to our team members. Um, and additionally, to our partnerships. What else is percolating at Lowe's right now? I mean, you have your OE collection, um, you have the Regency, um, Lowe's Regency collection. Well, actually, we have course corrected a bit over the past few months, and we've decided for a variety of reasons, after lots of internal conversations, that the Lowe's Regency wasn't panning out as we had hoped. So we actually have taken the Regency name off the only other property besides here on Park Avenue 61st Street, so it's Lowe's San Francisco now. Mm -hmm. And oh, we, we will have our first hotel opening in Toronto called Bisha. Mm -hmm. That's 100 rooms, and that will open in August of this year, August of 2017. And then we're going to also take a hard look at OE. I don't know that it's going to really be a, a growth vehicle for us. Mm -hmm.